line of three as they swing the bend. Out first, Jewel is giving plenty. Forest View, the middle, all action. Sun on the outside. Out first, Jewel in front. All action, Sun is trying hard to wear it down. Out first, Jewel in front. All action, Sun is trying hard, but the winning post will be too close and a great win. Out first, Jewel leads all the way. Where did you get the horse from, uh, Paul? Have you, uh, the breeding side, where did you uh, pick him up at the sales? Oh, the owner, Jared, he bought him at the Australian Gold Sales and um, as a pacer, but um, Mark Hayes broke him in and trotted to, to pace, but he couldn't pace, so he trotted, and he's just gone on from there. And when did he sort of start showing? I mean, he, he was a leading juvenile a two-year-old trotter last year. Did he show you from the start that he was going to be something pretty good? Yeah, it took a while to get him going, but um, a few months in work and that, he... he he come to it pretty quick, so he worked with one of the older horses and um, gave them a bit of run for their money, and I knew he had something special, so he's just gone strength to strength. That first reaction, though, when you th when you knew you had something good? Yeah, it's a, it's a big rap when you get a nice horse, like the horse, um, our first jewel, and, you know, it keeps you get getting up early and worth working the horses in the morning. Yeah, how many have you got in your team up at Avenal? Uh, I've got 11 in work at the moment, but they're all just about all yearlings in it. Right. So clearly this one's the jewel of the crown at the moment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's a he's a king of the king of the crop. 29-5 that third quarter. And our first jewel is getting stronger. He's getting quicker. And the margin is getting longer. Our first jewel. He'll turn 12 in front and is shot away. This has been a run by our first jewel. Look at him go. He's run some fantastic splits. And he is drawing right away, making it one act of fear. A very exciting trotter. Paul Ashford driving him out. And he wins by 25 metres. The final quarter, 29 seconds. And he's run a mile rate. Would you believe that it's faster than Lyle Creek? Wow. All right, let's go back to the start of Paul Ashwood's uh, career. Whereabouts did it begin, Paul? I'm usually I'm from um, Tasmania. Um, I used to work for uh, Ray Pullen for a few years and um, Neville Webley for four and a half years, so I learned a fair bit off him. And mm. Then I come over here and work for Nolan Jane for two years and <coughs> the mouth from your family asked me if I could um, do their horses, so I jumped in and took the opportunity to take the job. So how many do you train for them, Paul? Uh, 11 horses. Yeah, okay. So to keep you busy then, did you just train for them? I no. mean, obviously you've got other horses, have you? Or? No, I just train for them mostly. Mostly all young'uns and that, and they keep me going. And just hopefully I can get a nice young'un for, for next year's crop. You've learnt a lot, obviously, from the Webleys and even Noel Alexander and Jane Davies. You, you're putting it to, uh, I guess, your own pattern as well up there at Avenal? Yeah, that's true. Like, I've learned a lot, lot off Neville mostly and um, a fair bit off Noel and Jane. And, um, and especially Ray Pullen, like, he's, he showed me how to shoe and do other things. And, um, you know, you just put everything together and it, it comes to hand. So all the years of learning comes to hand pretty good. Do you, do you do it all yourself, just by listening to you here? Yeah, I do everything by myself, so you know, that's what you learn when you go to a big stable and that. They teach you to shoe and do other things, and that's how I've picked up and do all the other things that I do now. Okay, um, so how many years have you been over here, away from Tassie? I've been in Victoria for nearly uh, four years now, so okay. it's been a while. You're, uh, you're a pretty quiet sort of bike, do you? You just like doing your stuff and not making a big thing a big thing of things? Yeah, I like, I like keeping quiet and, you know, you know you've been making a big note of yourself, so just as long as things go along pretty good and and um, smooth, so I hope things go like that all the time. Mm. Now, you, you say you've got a team of 11. Is that the most you can have up where you are, or do you, would you like to get it a little bit bigger? Oh, I'd like to have oh, probably 15 or 20 horses in work, but 11's enough this time of year in the, wet, um, in the winter, so yeah. in the summertime you, it's nice to have 20 horses in works to keep you going all day and that, yeah. and um, keeps you busy. Apart from our first jewel, are there any other ones on the rise that we should be keeping an eye on in the future? Any named? A horse called Dirk Diggler. Dirk Diggler? What's yeah. it named after? He's, uh, he's named after a porno star. A porno star? Yeah. Is he really? Yeah. Good luck to him. Uh, the, the, boys, the boys bought him at the sales and they called him Dirk Diggler, so um, <laughs> his name stuck. He's won two races as a two-year-old and we've put him out now. I think he's going to be a nice three-year-old for next season, so hopefully he kicks on. We've got another horse there called Silver Solomon. He won five two-year-olds last season and had a bit of hiccups with him this, year, this season, but hopefully next season that he can come up and keep going for us. How closely do you uh, liaise with, uh, with Jared in particular, uh, who, who spotted our first jewel? Really, I wasn't, at, I wasn't at the sales when Jared bought the horse, so um, 
He must have a good eye. How did the horse get your eye? Um, it was the Australian Gold yearling sales two years ago, and um, we, we frequent buyers there. We, we go every year to buy yearlings, and, and just this little fella just took me eye. I just, as soon as I seen him, I said, I, I've got to buy him. And um, well, it's turned out to be a great buy. Mm. But you bought him to be a pacer. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I, I actually paid uh, the first sustaining fee to get him into the Australian Gold Series, which is for pacers. And we tried for two or three weeks to get him broken in pacing, but he just wouldn't pace and he just turned out a natural, natural trotter. Well, thank God, really, isn't yeah, it? Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a God sending, really, I suppose. I mean, he's... I mean, his record, you know, proves it. He's, he's, I mean, the, the best is yet to come with this horse. He's still, still maturing. You would have, as a trotter in his first year, he was uh, the leading juvenile trotter of his year. I mean, to have that in his first year, he can only improve. I mean, he's growing just yeah. by talking to people. Yeah, well, I mean, the horse, if you look at him in size, he's not a big horse. He's actually still growing. And, um, I mean, to win the Australian two-year-old trotter of the year was just something that I, you know, always dreamed about but um, yeah, it's just it's just amazing and, and like you said the best is yet to come we, that's what we honestly think and our first jewel is getting stronger he's getting quicker and the margin is getting longer would you believe that it's faster than Lyle Creek wow